While most retailers are focused on increasing their online sales, my next guests are helping young entrepreneurs find short-term brick and mortar space. Storefront recently featured in Forbes annual 30 under 30. The co-founders with me now, Eric Eliason and Tristan Pollock. So Eric, first of all, why is brick and mortar so important? We're so used to train to be thinking, okay, all e-commerce takes place over the web. Yep, yeah, and e-commerce is a great place to start if you're a small business or entrepreneur or a kid in college. It's really great to start online and build an audience and generate sales. But 94% of retail is still through brick and mortar, and it's a great place to meet your customers, to have that face-to-face -face conversation, and really be able to grow your business. So 90%, that's actually a pretty strong statistic. That is to say, people still buy 90% of their things or retail in stores. Tristan, what is it like to work with the real estate developers? Are they annoyed you're using the space, happy you're using the space? Because I'm assuming it's at a discount. Um, it's actually not. Most of the time it's at market or above and they're really excited. It's improving their efficiency and being able to fill the space. One in ten stores is vacant across the U.S. on average. And so it's, it's a huge help to be able to start filling their spaces short term and make it easier for them to find really creative brands and people doing really interesting things and bringing these experiences to their spaces. And speaking of interesting, Kanye West, did I read this correctly? Eric is a client? Uh, Kanye West, uh, and he's, he did a pop-up when he was in concert in New York City. He's got a lot of great merchandise, and uh, customers want to talk to him, see him face-to-face, -face, and so uh, he opened a pop-up in conjunction with his concert, but we've worked with a lot of great brands as well, like Google and Nike and Target, but we've worked with thousands of artists that many are unknown, but I think in a few years, there'll be household names across the U.S. So did you have to wait, Tristan, for the concept of the sharing economy to come around till people understood what you were trying to do, or you just saw the need and you built this? I think all sharing economy companies are definitely have helped each other move the market forward and make it make other a lot of industries more efficient and effective you know everything from Airbnb to relay rides and get around with cars we're seeing all these industries move much quicker than they have before and, and empower people really I think people is key you know for us we're a b2b sharing economy company where we have really creative businesses large and small working with us working with people who own really interesting spaces but Overall, it's really empowering people to do things better and smarter and more than they ever have done before. So in theory, you're trying to make it just as easy for a retail brand to have a bricks and mortar space as an online space. Exactly, exactly. It's, been, it's never been easier to start a business online, and now we're making that same possibility come true offline. All right, it makes sense. We thank you both. Congratulations on the Forbes list. Eric Eliason, Tristan Pollock joining us there, co-founders of Storefront. So we will be back after a short break.